Hello friends, welcome to Machine Learning the Future course. We are in part 2 regression and we are looking at multiple linear regression. So in the last part, we have already seen the comparison between the Y predicted as well as the Y test values and we have already seen that this model is not so optimal for our machine learning which is our multiple linear regression because the values over here as you can see 17,000 or it's 19 so it's not matching it perfectly or it's not matching it approximately as well so we need to find an optimal model for our multiple linear regression so in this video we'll look at backward elimination method for the same so before moving forward we'll actually be looking at a very important concept so for our backward elimination method we'll be using a library or a like class library known as stats model now stats model is a library which is used for building out our optimal model using backward elimination but as you can see in our multiple linear regression example we have seen y is equals to b0 plus b1x1 plus b2x2 so b0 over here is a constant but this term can also be stated as y is equals to b0x0 where b0 contains a variable x0 and the value of x0 is 1 so most of the libraries do take care of this x0 as well considering that x0 is equals to 1 and they build a multiple linear regression model out of it so previously we have used linear regression class library which actually takes care of this situation where it predicts that x0 is equals to 1 and our model is y is equals to b0x0 plus b1x1 plus b2x2 where x0 is equals to 1 but our new library which is stats model will not take care of this properly hence we need to actually take care of it in a different manner so what we will do is we'll add our new column of entire one which is required for our stats model library to make it understand that our multiple linear regression model equation is y is equals to b0 plus b1x1 where x0 is equals to 1 else it will not consider the b0 part and hence our model will not be optimal so for that let's start building the optimal model using backward elimination so in this part we'll actually import a class library which is called as stats model and from that we'll use formula API as sm we'll use it as sm and now we want to add a column of ones which will be at the beginning so let's do that x equals let's use an append so we'll use array is equals to n numpy dot once so we'll use that over here and let's look at the values so i will adding a 50 values which will be of all ones and the type will be integer value is equals to x and your axis will be one. so here is a statement so this columns of one will be added at the end of our matrix but we want it at the beginning so we'll just twist the line so that's why we have added this np.ones.add type so that it will add the values of ones and let's execute this So maybe some kind of brackets are missing I suppose. So that was a 
round bracket missing over here let's execute this a mistake it's stash models now it will be executed yes it is executed now so we are properly executed our stash model variable and let's look at our variable now So let's look at the values of x over here and over here you get the values of 1 over here which will be at the starting. So this will be your b0x1, your dummy variables and your three independent variables which is R&D, infrastructure and the administrative spend. So stats model doesn't take care of our b0x0 where x0 is equals to 1 so that's why we have included that variable as well a column of entire ones so that's it for this video in the next part we'll actually start with machine learning which is using backward elimination method